In today's vlog, I'm gonna show you how to do an open graded base installation for a paper patio. This is a new thing that a lot of people are doing. It's a really great technique. We just started doing it this year and it's a huge time saver and it's really easy to do. So I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks to make sure you do it right. Stay tuned. First step, dig out your patio. We already got this started. We got the grass removed. I'm gonna use the machine and level this out, get it to the right height that we need. And then we're gonna amend the soil. This is clay soil, so it's gonna retain a lot of water. We're gonna amend that with some mortar mix. If we have any soft spots, we'll use some three quarter clean into the subgrade, compact that. Then we can get our geotextile down. Now that we have the base dug out, it's time to amend the soil, compact our subgrade. That's the most overlooked thing I see, is not compacting the subgrade enough. You can compact the base 100 times if you want, but if the subgrade isn't sturdy, patio is gonna fail. So this is what we do. We're putting down the lime because this is a clay soil. So this will amend the soil so that it's gonna drain better. So we'll spread this all out. We're also gonna put down Portland cement, which will help dry it out so that we can start compacting and get this thing solid. Subgrade is nicely compacted now, so the next step is laying out our geotextile fabric. This is going to act as a soil separator and it's going to strengthen our base. So we'll lay this out, overlap your seams by about 12 inches, and then we can start with that three quarter clean base. Now that we have our geotextile and our first layer of base in, what I like to do is put in some geogrid. This isn't really required. Uh, a lot of guys don't do this, but it's an extra layer of protection. Can't hurt, so that's what we do. So we're gonna roll out this geogrid. It's about halfway up our base. We'll fill it with more three-quarter clean. Then we'll be ready to set that 3 a stone and we'll be ready for our pavers. Now with the geotextile that goes underneath of the base, you want that to overlap. With the geogrid, you do not. The reason for that is because this is effective because the stone gets locked in between these grids. When you overlap it, the opening size becomes too small and the stone can't lock into it. So you want to make sure that your geogrid is not overlapped at all, just laying right next to each other. But All right, so last thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is get your screed pipes down. Do one more final compaction before you put these down, but you're gonna measure them the same way that we did when we checked our final grade. You're gonna set this, put the zip level, laser level, whatever you have, put it right on top of there. Make sure that your pitch is perfect and it's perfectly flat. And then you're gonna screed this 3 ace clean stone right across, it'll be perfectly flat and smooth. And that'll be the base where you lay your pavers. So, Pretty easy like this. The clean stone base is really adjustable. You can hit these pipes with a dead blow hammer if you meet, need to make little adjustments. And um, a lot easier than a densely graded base to make those adjustments. That's one of the reasons I really like it. So after watching this video, you should be installing clean stone bases like a boss. And there's a lot of benefits to it easily workable you can make final adjustments at the last minute and it's not all clumped together super easy you can work later in the year because it doesn't retain any water so it's not going to freeze together and you can work with it in the rain so you're not going to lose as many rain days using this method and i really think that this is the way of the future everybody's going to be doing their patios this way and if you follow these instructions you'll be golden <music> 